In this lesson, I'm going to walk you through how to best communicate with your students. If you're on your main dashboard, I want you to select one of the classes that you want to work with. Hopefully you've used the code from the previous video so that the students are all located in the people section and now they can view all of your content. If you direct your attention to share something with your class, I want you to click on this option here. This will provide you a space to be able to add a Google Drive item. You can pull anything from your Google Drive. So brainstorm about a Google Doc, a slide, a spreadsheet, a form. You can also provide a link to an article, a resource, um, something that you want them to research. It could be a document that you personally have created for your students, and then also a file. So if we were to share this announcement, we have the option on the right-hand side to post. Now, if you click on the arrow, you have the option to post right now, saving it as a draft, so something that you know you're working on, but you still have some time to build that out. You're not quite ready to post it yet. Or if you're trying to get your students in a routine, but you kind of want to chunk out your own personal time where you are um, creating that content and it's going out very consistently for your students, which I highly recommend, you can select schedule. That way, if you have specific announcements going out on a Monday for work that's due on Wednesday or Friday, it's very consistent and you can build that out in advance. So that's one of the really great features of Google Classroom. Another feature that I want to highlight here, if you do have multiple classes that are going to receive the same announcement, there's a huge time saver here. You have the option to click on four, and I have American history, but let's say I had three American history classes, I could select all three of those items and it will actually post as an announcement for all three of those classes.